I wanted to make a quick video today. Uh, the biggest story on Greenland that no one is talking about. I can't find any videos uh, on the web about this story. So uh, this is Greenland, of course, on uh, Google Maps. And if you go in, I just want to show you one of the many cities. This is Tasilak, and forgive me if I'm saying it wrong, Tasilak. But it, what's important is it's not at the southern tip of Greenland. Uh, it's it's right there. It's at at the northern end of Iceland. If you're on long, longitudinal longitudinal coordinates, um, even even further north than Iceland is. So this is where Greenland is. Of course, America, Europe. This is how far north we're talking about. And what's important is that in Greenland right now, in this city, there are only three hours, three and a half hours of sunlight each day. And this is getting uh, lower and lower uh, until the winter solstice on the 22nd. So it's almost at winter solstice. So it's at the minimum sunlight, three hours a day of sunlight. And if you look at the average temperature for December for this city, uh, it's 26 degrees at the high, the average high. Uh, November, because it gets a lot more sunshine, is 30, and October is 36. And, of course, we, we know about the record temperatures in Greenland this year. But um, this month is especially important because of ice creation and snow creation. If the middle of the day, if this were above 32, there would be no new snow and ice. It would actually be melting. And that is the story. Let's go over here to Venture Sky. Um, this gives you the, the northern latitudes. And as you can see, the freezing level is way far north across the planet. But this heat dome here has been here all winter. It's just been crazy. It's, it's like the, the, this heat dome here over Alaska has been here. And it's fading a little bit. But this one has actually become more pronounced. And this is actually on uh, December 5th. So we're going to go through December here, and this is where this uh, city in uh, Greenland is. And as you can see, the afternoon temperature is 42 degrees. That is almost 20 degrees above average. Go to the 6th. Wow, it's still cold there. It's, it's 39 degrees. That's 13 degrees above average. Go to the 7th. Oh, it's it's still above freezing. That's about the coldest day I could find. Still 8 degrees above average. The 8th. Still still 10 degrees above average. The 9th. You can see this plume is still here. 38 degrees. 12 degrees above the average. The 10th. 39, 38. The 11th. You just have to look at these colors. Look, there's a vortex going on here which is drawing some of the heat away and drawing some of the northern end, but it's still 39, 40 degrees. Go to the 12th. Still way above average. Still not, not in the blue 30 degree range. 13th. And this isn't just here. You have 32 degrees all the way up the coast. Can you imagine this island having 35 degrees? This island is in the dark 24 hours a day. That far north, it's got to be dark 24 hours a day now. And it's still above freezing. Unimaginable. Unimaginable. 14th. Still above freezing. Still way above normal. 15th. Really warm. Still above normal. We have 50 degree temperatures on the 15th. 16th. 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th. That's as far as Venture Sky goes. This Western and all of Southern Greenland every day is above freezing. That's the big story that no one's talking about. 
What's going to happen next summer? Is it going to stay 20 degrees above normal for good now? Is the average of 26 part of history that will never be, that will never happen again? Twenty six degrees, sixteen degrees low on uh, uh, average low. It's nowhere near that. Greenland has completely changed. So how long will this last? Well, the the jet stream is fluctuating now significantly, and there's a dome, there's the low, there's the dome, there's the low. You can see. It's kind of like a sine wave going across the earth. And these don't head east or west, or west that quickly. So for this entire winter, Greenland is being subject to warm water, warm air. And what does that cause? Massive melts. So uh, just wanted to share this with everybody because I've been watching this and I'm just astounded at the temperatures on the Greenland coast this December 2021.